All right, so Jonathan Majors is definitely a name that you're going to want to remember for the upcoming 2023 movie year because, look, this dude's about to be in Creed 3. He's going to be Kang. He's going to be Kang in the MCU. And, he, look, I feel like this dude is going to fulfill what Michael B. Jordan couldn't, and that's become one of the best black actors in Hollywood. Well, I mean, I feel like he's going to take the torch from Denzel Washington and become not only one of the best black actors in Hollywood, but the best actor in Hollywood in general. Jonathan Majors is an absolute force, man, and he proves it in this movie, and honestly, his dedication and devotion to his craft of acting is paying off in some major ways. Did you get it? Did you, did you catch that? Majors? Major? Man, it's okay. It's, it's not a big deal. Look, this is devotion. Hey guys, it's your guy in the chair here, and look, this is my review for Devotion, starring Jonathan Majors, Glenn Powell, Joe Jonas, which is a really random casting choice if you ask me, but Chris and Christina Jackson, and it was directed by J.D. Dillard, and our story is following the true story of the first black Navy naval aviator, uh, Jesse Brown, and his uh, relationship with Tom Hudner, played by Glenn Powell. That's really the plot to this movie. It's really just these two friendships and essentially what they went through in the Navy together, and honestly, it's a very heartwarming, a great friendship story story, a great story about the dedication and devotion that these pilots have when they step into these planes, and honestly, the devotion the devotion and dedication that Jesse Brown specifically had when he got in the plane, because this dude was born to be in the skies, he's one of the best, and honestly, like I said, you're, this is what you're, you're, you are literally in this movie for two people, Jonathan Majors and Glenn Powell, and they do everything they need to to make sure you are thoroughly entertained throughout, their dynamic is incredible, their relationship is phenomenal to watch, he kind of, you know, this played on screen and portrayed in certain ways and honestly like I said John Majors is Jonathan Majors is a name you're definitely going to want to remember for 2023 because this guy is an incredible actor I mean literally from the moment he appears on screen this dude is acting his ass off in the entire film just doing whatever he can to be as powerful as, as an actor as he can be man and just make sure that this this performance is resonating with us and that we are actually getting something from this film because like I said other than the two main characters this movie doesn't really have much to offer and honestly it sucks that this movie came out the same year as Top Gun because all of us as audience members are literally just going to see two like planes and go, well, Top Gun did it better. And it, it's not, this movie isn't about really the flight scenes at all. The flight scenes are impressive. They're pretty good. They're not what Top Gun did. Of course, it's not going to be what Top Gun did. Top Gun blew everybody out of the water this year. But this movie, as far as the character development goes, is very is very good. It's I enjoyed it a lot. Like I said, Glenn Powell and Jonathan Majors are the two shining stars of this of this entire film. Everyone else, you know, Christina Jackson, uh, who plays Jesse uh, Major's wife, she Jesse Brown's wife, she does a very good job as well. She's just playing her role. Joe Jonas, like I said, he's, he's a very random casting choice. He's not bad in the film at all, but honestly, when you see a guy like Joe Jonas in this movie, you realize that they really just spent money on the two main actors and threw anybody else in this thing, and honestly, that's all they cared about was the story between these two, and that's all you need to care about. Other than that, this movie doesn't have too much to offer, but it's not really supposed to offer anything more than the story of these two characters here and honestly that's all that's all you really need that you're thoroughly entertained with that i'm good with that i didn't need anything more like i said it just sucks that this movie came out the same year as top gun because that's that literally that's all i'm getting is questions like oh is it better than top gun it's like it's literally all my friends were asking I'm like dude I don't even know why we're comparing the two. Y'all know this thing ain't going to touch Top Gun. But this, as far as character development goes, no, this movie definitely had a lot of it. And it was very really thoroughly entertaining. Like I said, it's not it's not anything crazy. Like, the plot is pretty simple. Um, like I said, you're really just here for Jonathan Majors and Glenn Powell. And I do have to give credit to Glenn Powell because going from Scream... I, I first saw Glenn Powell in Scream Queens. And if you've seen that show, that's a, that's a throwback. That I enjoyed season one more than season two. Season two sucked. But Glenn Powell, a part of Scream Queens, I honestly didn't see much of an acting career for that kid after uh after that sh oh, he's not a kid but he's a grown man i didn't really see much of an acting career for him after that because i thought that's only the only roles he would possibly be able to play is just big jockey white idiots and honestly he has surpassed that he's made a complete 180 in his career he came he was in top gun early this year i don't know if i gave him credit uh, in that review, but I'm giving him his credit now because he had more of a lead role in this film and he had much more to do than he did in Top Gun and he played it to a T. He did very good in this film. Like I said, the dynamic between him and Majors is what you're here for. It's phenomenal. It's the most entertaining parts of the film. And honestly, you're thoroughly entertained throughout. And oh man, 
the ending of this film. I didn't. I, I, I'm going to be real with y'all. I never heard of Jesse Brown until this movie came out, and I didn't know about the story. I didn't know how this thing was going to end, and the ending definitely messed me up. I, it was a, definitely a, a cold way to go out. If you've seen it, you know what I'm referring to. Other than that, it's just a pun to you, but it's definitely a cold way to go out, and I, I just, I was floored. I did not expect that movie to end like that. That was definitely got me, that definitely got me, you know, teared up, tearing up a little bit, but Look, overall, this is a film where you're basically here for the two main actors and their performances, and that's the only reason you need to be here. It's thoroughly entertaining. They're very powerful performances, and honestly, Jonathan Majors is just a masterclass, man. I am very excited to see what this young man does in, in, the, in the future of acting, in 2023 and beyond, man. This kid is coming for all of it. This kid is coming for every type of award possible, man. I cannot wait. I'm excited to see what's in store, what's in the future for both of these actors. And look, for all those reasons and so many more, guys, I am going to give Devotion a 3.5 out of 5 stars. All right, guys, so Devotion, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know in the comments what you think. What do you think of John Major's upcoming, you know, acting slate? What do you think he's going to do in his future, man? Look, this kid, like I said, I got big hopes for John Jonathan Major's, man. I think he's one of the best upcoming actors in Hollywood. I think he's coming for the crown. I think he's going to be one of the best actors by the time we get to probably 2025. I think this dude is going to have a lot of movies on his plate, and he's just probably going to be one of the busiest working men in Hollywood from here on out. But look, be sure to comment below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. Thank you so much. This is your guy in the chair. More content coming to you soon.